Inbox by Gmail is a completely different new way to handle email. The app is designed to display the most relevant emails that often get buried and forgotten due to lots of unwanted emails that you get bombarded with daily. Here's a preview of the all-new Inbox by Gmail. Built by the Gmail team and years in the making, Inbox has been made to fit your life by keeping your emails organized to help you get back to what matters. Inbox is both modern and colorful. You'll notice that your messages are grouped by date, with today at the top, followed by yesterday, and this month. Inbox also corrals your messages into categories, which resurfaces bundles of emails when you receive something new. Inbox strives to help you navigate through your email by sorting through all incoming messages automatically into bundles. The social bundle, for instance, groups all incoming social-related messages into one place, and it includes messages from social networks and social media services. Other bundles include purchases, finance, travel, updates, forms, and promos. There's also a handy snooze feature that resends your email to your inbox at the scheduled time. From the main view of your inbox, you can sweep a category, which will dismiss an entire bundle of emails. When you sweep a bundle, those messages are sent to a separate Done tab, which you can access from the menu in the top left. The Done tab is an archive of your old emails. By clicking or tapping the thumbtack icon, you can pin emails to your inbox that you still need to read or follow up on. If the email is part of a bundled label, like promos or social, it will show up individually in your inbox. To dismiss a pin item from your inbox, click the checkmark button or swipe to the right. If you need to find it later, you'll find it in the done tab. To reply to or to forward something, simply tap the circle with the arrow inside. To send an email from within inbox, click or tap the big red plus button. Your most recent contacts will appear as an icon, which you can tap or click for quick access. To compose a message, tap the red pencil icon. Inbox doesn't appear to have all the compose options that Gmail does. For example, you can't upload a file from your Google Drive account. Inbox's best two features are reminders and snooze. Swiping to the left will give you the options to do this, and it's really handy for messages that you don't have the time to reply to at the moment. Reminders is another useful tool that will help you to keep on top of your tasks. To set a reminder, click the red plus button and choose the blue finger icon. Type in your reminder and set a time. Inbox is a great new approach to email. The service understands that you're not just trying to read your email, you're trying to do things with it too. It also understands that you get quite a lot of email, and it needs to be able to sort through things quickly. So the question is, is Google expecting that users will permanently migrate from Gmail to Inbox? That'll be up for you to decide. And if you want to give it a try, it's available for free in the App Store, Google Play Store, and also as a website that I will link to in the description below. Anyway guys, if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel as it really does help me out. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video.